Hello, my dear J. Arwans 2024 Warriors. Welcome aboard. So let's get straight away to the J. Advanced paper analysis. How was the difficulty and what is the branch versus the college that you can get based on, you know, the current trends and as well as the previous trends. So quickly join in into the session because Captain Shriya sir is live. And yes, make sure that you are liking and subscribing to the channel. The reason why you should subscribe is because there will be more videos which will be made on how the counseling and process and other things will happen and different information about different colleges as well as whether to take a drop or not and all those you know help will be providing on the channel and like the video because then youtube will understand you're interested in more such videos so it will suggest you automatically so thank you for liking quickly now uh let's straight away dive in to the paper analysis starting off with paper one then i will show you how to predict your rank a branch for all the categories okay so quickly join in and let your friends know that shreya sir is live now in the morning the paper one you know there were single choice questions uh, which were asked multiple choice numeric and matrix passage was not asked in single correct option four questions were there three marks each with negative one marking multiple correct options there were three questions like that with four marks each with negative two marks that means a lot of students if they do some mistake they will lose a lot of marks over here there is also partial marking over here that is good in a way but negative two will take away a lot of your marks then in numeric there were six questions which are asked uh, four marks each so a lot of you would have gained a lot of marks over here so if I talk about the strategy, I feel students who have done the numeric well and uh, you know the risk is also minimum because there is no negative marking there. I think you would have scored really well in paper one. I hope that was your strategy rather than going to MCQ because you know again you have to solve three questions only and there is partial marking but negative two marks was there. Matrix was also better only. I mean there were four questions with the three marks each. So that was the overall paper pattern of one. And if you talk about mathematics difficulty level, it was very tough, lengthy. Uh, many students literally were crying. Uh, I got some messages also and I was seeing some reactions where students literally did not like maths. Was it true? Just confirm this quickly on the chat box. Physics was moderate for most of the students who had prepared well. Uh, students who had not prepared that well found it little bit on the tougher side. If you talk about chemistry, it was as expected average for most students who had studied well, for few students who did not prepare that well or had left some part of chemistry as option, they found it on the uh, slightly on the uh, more than average or slightly above moderate side. Okay, so that was that was what was uh, the paper one analysis. I hope I'm audible now. I'm holding the mic in my mouth. All right. Next thing, if you talk about paper number two paper number two right in paper number two maths was comparatively slightly better slightly better physics was slightly on the tougher side that's what the initial reactions are now obviously the sample set is very less maybe the students whom we interviewed might have said the same thing but maybe over a period of time it might change a little bit chemistry was as expected not much change over there was this uh, you know uh, something what you also experienced quickly let me know in the chat box good evening good evening yep some models also came from the questions that i told is that Nam namashiva please let me know which the questions were there uh, there uh, there like that if you talk about the pattern scq four questions mcq three questions a uh, paragraph eight questions paragraph questions came in paper two integer six questions so instead of matrix type they have changed it to paragraph type so no new pattern has come it is very similar to the previous year patterns okay so that was your paper pattern and the expected difficulties and what student reaction was now how do we exactly predict the rank so let me tell you that as well as well as the cutoffs now if you go back to the last year j advanced 2023 in the common rank list the minimum percentage that you should get in every subject not paper every subject physics chemistry maths was around 10 so if the paper was worth 100 marks you should at least score 10 marks to clear the j advance exam even if your total marks is high but let's say you did very bad in chemistry then you will not get a rank so that's why you have to clear individual subject cutoffs which was around 10 
percentage remember it is not marks this is percentage because total marks might change the total marks the total subject marks percentage was 35 percent cut off so if the paper was for 100 marks 35 marks minimum you should get if it is again for 200 marks you should get bare minimum uh, 70 marks that is the meaning of it that was in common rank list but if you see other categories below over here it was very similar but slightly on the lower slide okay it will go down to nine percent to five percent subject wise and total aggregate percentage marks went from 31 percent to 17 percent and even 8.75 percent so that was the last year's cutoffs you can even see the previous year's cutoffs as well it is there over here i have put it up on your screen for 2023, for 2022 and 2021, I have done that comparison, right? Okay. And uh, you can just take a screenshot and you can see rank wise to get into computer science, computer science for ID Bombay in 2023, you need to be around all India rank 67. So beyond 60s, very difficult to get computer science in ID Bombay. You can see all the other IITs for, uh, for computer science engineering. You can see IIT Delhi 100 rank, uh, IIT Madras again 140 rank, IIT Kanpur 200 rank. The lowest it goes to around 5,900. That means around 6,000 rank for IIT Dharwad, Palakkad, Bhilai, Jammu, Goa, Tirupati, Dhanbad. The lower IITs they have around 3,000 to 4,000 rank for getting computer science engineering, which is not a bad option considering you are getting IIT tag plus computer science branch. So that is what you can expect this year also. You can see the trends are very similar. It is not changing drastically by 1000 ranks or so. Okay, so that is for your computer science engineering in different IITs. Now, sir, what rank will I get? What branch will I get? Is there a better tool because my category is different? So now as you're watching this video, what I've done is I have kept a link in the description box. I have kept a link in the description box. You can see, predict your branch for all the categories called as vaklavia.com. Just click on that link. Just click on that link and say, get started. You will be asked your name and mobile number. Enter it. That's it. Enter the OTP. I have already entered it in some place. Where is it? I think over here. Yeah, I have entered it over here and kept it. Okay, for privacy reasons, obviously, I can't show my mobile number. So after you enter everything, this is how the tool looks like. Here you can select your gender, okay? Let's say for example, female or gender neutral means open category. You, which colleges are you looking at? All colleges are kept over here. IIT, NIT, government funded institutes, triple ITs, everything. Let's say you're only looking at IITs. Let's say the college, you can select any particular college or you can leave it blank. If you leave it blank, it will select all the IITs. If you're in some category, then you can select that. If you're not in any category, just click open. Uh, quota, all India level, state quota, especially it matters for NITs, right? So you'll have to check that. And if you want to select some college within some distance of some particular city, you can select that as well. Which area are you in and all of that. And your J mains rank you can put, your J advance rank you can put over here. Let's say my J advance rank is 4000. Example, plus or minus, let's say 200 I'm expecting, plus or minus here and there. So, you know, up and down can happen. You can do that and say search. So it will give a list of all the colleges with the branch and the category, gender, everything, year wise also it will give me and which all branches you can get. Isn't it a fascinating, amazing tool? Yeah, understood? Understood guys? Yeah, all right, all right, perfect. Okay, so some of you are claiming that paper one was tougher than paper two, paper two was tougher than paper one. So we are getting mixed reviews. So guys, uh, right now we are not in a situation to obviously compare it because we don't have the paper, but we'll be discussing the paper and we'll be doing the exact comparison. But the initial reactions of paper two was maths was okay. Few questions were better maybe. Physics was again tough to moderate. Chemistry was average. Paper one, maths obviously was very tough. Physics was moderate to tough. Chemistry was average to moderate. Some of the models of the questions which we did in the YouTube classrooms have also come in the J advanced paper is what many students were also claiming. So we need to check the paper out. Obviously the paper discussion will happen very soon. You can see on the, uh, uh, you know, YouTube page itself, right? You can see that we are going to do the paper discussion tomorrow. 
but we need to wait and watch when J, uh, that is IIT Madras, is going to release the paper. Only after that we can solve because memory based, we don't want to take the chance. It's not like J means where you can remember every single detail of J advanced. Okay. So now the next question in your mind will be, sir, can I take up a college or should I compromise on the branch? Should I compromise on the college? Should I compromise on private college and go to a better branch? All these doubts will be there. Some of you will be like, okay, I'll take up some college, take a partial drop, meaning, uh, you know, you already have secured your seat in engineering, but not great college, but you're going to prepare for JE for next year, 2025. Is that a good option versus taking a complete drop? Nothing doing. I want to completely dedicate for IIT preparation only that is complete drop. So these kind of doubts will come. I would uh, leave you today because today you want to settle in. You want to take your own breathing space plus IPL matches there. You all must be probably eagerly waiting to do some lot of time pass and meet your friends. So do that perfectly fine. And tomorrow onwards, we will start discussing all the future options which you guys have. Okay. So that is what we are going to do in the next few days to come. I hope you have liked the video and comment below. What is it that you are looking for? What kind of videos are you looking for on the channel? Okay. So I've given you the complete paper analysis, expected cutoffs, branch, uh, rank, uh, you know, college predictor tool. The link is there in the description. Use that. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great time. This was Captain Shreya signing off. Hasta la vista.